Welcome to the station where big stories leave. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we spill and sip tea while analyzing the biggest entertainment stories. I am a fellow Ocean Care, and I'm here with Benny Ak and Nimi Dekambi. And most especially, today is Nimi's birthday, so it's only right we say <laughs> happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, yeah, happy birthday, Nimi. happy birthday to you. Let's do this. I I comes older interesting part. You now. How old am I? Uh, plus one. Uh, hey, plus one. Should I spill? No. We well, have to spill tea. I can let him on. All right. So <laughs> she's plus TV is plus one. Yes. Yeah. So happy birthday, girl. Thank Long you. life and Thank prosperity. You so much. And um, live your best life. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So let's delve into the first story of the day. Um, now, Mikamba writes an open letter to. Grammy Awards after Bonoboy's lost to Angelic Kijo. And I think it's worthy of reading. She said, first, I want to say deepest congratulations to Angelic Kijo for our award on Sunday. And thank you to you for spreading the light and opening minds through your music. And to our African giants, Bonoboy, it is only due to lack of education that you have not been honored with the accolades you so truly deserve. You're always a winner in our hearts, always. And to the Recording Academy, there is something that brings joy, strength, and happiness to myself and to so many that hear it. And it is called Afrobeats. Afrobeats is a musical genre played on mainstream and primetime radio, not only across the continent of Africa. And I think um, she said this properly. I like the fact that she uh, congratulated Angelique Kijo, first of all, because um, Bonobo is already a winner for going against a legend like that. Yeah. And, uh, a lot of people have come to criticize Bonner Boy, saying that, okay, they didn't want him to win because they felt it was going to affect his personality. Some said, um, obviously, with Ange Angelic Kijo being on that list, um, there was no chance in hell for Bonner Boy to win. And yeah. uh, some even said um, his album wasn't original wasn't enough. Original. They had so, a lot of samples. samples. So, yeah, so there's been a lot of controversies about this. But regardless, I think Bonner Boy is still a winner. And I yeah. think... Um, it's like um, Tyra Banks, I said Tyra Banks, like um, was it Naomi oh, Campbell yeah. said, um, it's due to lack of education. Before the Grammy, there was a lot of um, inside propaganda going on about mm -hmm. the CEO who had to step down, saying the working environment and all of that. So um, I think there's a bit of truth in all of this, and yeah. I think we need to start establishing that. The same thing goes on in the BET, by the way, so. Yeah, I think I'll just say that one of the things she said when she was um, when she wrote a statement was that they should create a category for Afrobeats. They should have Afrobeats best album, Afrobeats song of the year, like mm. they do for Latin pop. Because you know there's a there's a category for Latin pop album, mm. and then there are some other you know award shows that they create maybe like a K-pop category because this um, genres of music is gaining you know relevance mm. in America. But would we say that Afrobeats has actually gotten to that level, like maybe Latin pop. Can we say that, um, you know, Afrobeats has got to that level that we now say, okay, we want to create a separate category for Afrobeats? I believe so. You think we have gotten to that? Yeah, because that when you're talking about mainstream. Latin pop, I don't listen to Latin pop. You've never heard Despacito? Oh, that's one out of like a so, million. And, and, and if you look at the success of Despacito, it, was, it really drew, you know, a lot of interest for, for different people into the Latin music industry, and there was now like a huge, um, how like, but there was a huge explosion of Latin music. A lot of people, you know, listening to. If you look at a lot of, if if you if you look at their streams, their Spotify streams, it's that's huge numbers. So does Afro beats have that amount of listeners? Well, I think so I'll let separate Benny category? say this. Um, what do you think? Do you think um, Afro beats has <coughs> garnered that much recognition for them to have their own category? Not as yet. What? Have Not as yet. yet. Not as yet. I mean, we're, we're going to get there eventually. Um, kudos to Naomi Campbell for voicing out. First, mm -hmm. I want to say it was okay she said something. Yeah, definitely. And then secondly, she should understand that there was no grounds for comparison between Angelique Kijo and Bonoboy. Mm -hmm. If it was 
an Afrobeat category, they will feel, you know what, Bona was deprived. But Definitely. it wasn't Afrobeat. I mean, um, <laughs> globally, Angela Kijo is a more recognized African artist than Bona Boris. Yeah. We can't even take that away from us. She's the real Mama Africa, mm -hmm. you know. And so I understand her sentiments where she was talking about, you know, Bona, um, the, the lack of education or miseducation was the reason why it was she. she I felt think she only used the was, opportunity to he was deprived. To, 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 voice out. Yeah, the to voice thing. out so that there are different genres of yeah, music. Maybe at the end of the day, if it was just an Afrobeat category, Category, yeah. then bonus Angelica. to the yeah, chance. Exactly. Well, we're talking about, and we're talking about um, the category was for best international international music. World music, 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 world music, music you know? So I'm sorry. Um, let's let's talk about many decades. Angelique Kidjo has put into a yeah. craft. Mm -hmm. She has a great body of work recognized mm -hmm. globally by mm -hmm. world music bodies, which one of them is the Grammys. Uh, and, and I think the organizers of the Grammys should stop paying attention because Afrobeat is gaining m momentum. Um, thanks to thanks to his pioneer Afrobeat legend and fella Nicolas Pokuti. I think there's a um, difference between Afrobeats mm. and Afrobeats. Well, Afrobeat without the S. Let's not get it confused. But yeah, Afrobeats yeah, beat beat is and, actually yeah. fella you know? Sean Kuti, mm -hmm. Femi Kuti. But Afrobeats are the likes mm. of David Do, Whiskey, and the likes. So you still find the, the fusion of Afrobeat in what is generalized as Afrobeats now, yeah. and then we're having with a lot of Western people also infusing our Afrobeats into yeah, their exactly. music. Yeah, exactly. So that's you know, Beyonce and their likes of them, they're doing all yeah. that. Mm -hmm. So I believe with time, um, Afrobeat is going to gain more popularity for it to become yes. a category, a category mm -hmm. in the so, Grammys. So not yeah. only that, and not only that, um, kudos to, to Bonner Boy, and congratulations to Angelique Kijo. I wouldn't yeah. have expected anything less. And Bonner should be happy. That's a recognition for him. That nomination mm -hmm. was a recognition by World Gum Music Buddy, and it's, yeah. it's a great deal. And, and she also even like you know she gave, she dedicated, she dedicated, it to dedicated the award to him. Know. So that is a huge, yeah. a huge deal on its own. So big shout out to Bonner Boy. Um, you would always be a winner. The fact that you even went against the legend is a win on its own. So let's move on to the next story. Tara Banks applauses Gabriel Union for being vulnerable amid, amid Americans Got Talent controversy. Tara said in an interview with Yahoo, I just thought that was a really beautiful, that was really beautiful because a lot of the times in entertainment you have to put up this front. I'm strong and I'm this and I was wrong. So she was so vulnerable and I was so thought that was beautiful that her husband really supported her as well. Gabra was let go from America's Got Talent in December 2019 after mm. she voiced her concerns about racism, sexism, and yeah. all the stuff. So, um, big shout out to Tyra because um, a lot of people have that position of power there. They have the platform to actually stand up against all of these things as black women. But... I don't know whether it's, um, how do I put it now, whether they don't want to step on the wrong tools or being blacklisted, but a lot of them do not actually speak up, not because they do not experience these things in the industry, but someone like Gabriel Union, she stood her ground and she spoke exactly what she thought, and I thought that was beautiful, and it's yeah. also good for people to show their vulnerability. And I'm not just talking about women, I'm also talking about men, because we know about the patriarchal pressure placed on a lot of men, and they feel like, oh, men are not supposed to cry, men are not supposed to show emotion. But I think it's okay for you to be vulnerable sometimes, especially when it's something you're passionate about. So big shout out to um, Gabriel for standing up, and um, for Tyra Banks for also admitting that um, a vulnerability is also a lesson to a lot of people yeah. across the globe. I think this story for me was particularly interesting because um, apart from the fact that I feel like a lot of the racism that goes on in Hollywood is greatly underreported. Mm -hmm. People don't really talk about it. Mm -hmm. For example, people always constantly talk about the fact that whenever it is time for people um, for um, Hollywood execs mm -hmm. to cast black people in a movie, mm -hmm. they always look for the light-skinned ones. Mm -hmm. But when it's time for them to portray maybe a slavery movie, they always look for the dark-skinned mm -hmm. ones. So there has been underlying, you know, talks about racism in the Hollywood Colorism industry. Colorism. Colorism, well. you know, there have been, these discussions have been happening. Now, for Gabrielle Union, she was beautiful and amazing. Mm -hmm. And America's Got Talent. In fact, she was one of the reasons that a lot of people, you know, started watching. A lot of people did not she really brought watch. You know, she media. brought in a lot of crowd. So it was very, very surprising and shocking when she was let go. And then when she explained the reason why she was let go, um, it was believable. It was not something that you'd be like, oh, I'm going to question. Because she said that one of the reasons the, the producers were complaining to her that her hair was too black. Mm. She was doing braids. 
because Gabriel did a lot of like you know really flashy African mm -hmm. hair you know styles and then the producers were always complaining that your hair is too black and then she spoke up because there was this incident where one of the judges I think was racist to a Korean presenter where, where they said that maybe she were they eat pigs or something and she spoke up for those people so she was not just calling out racism against black people she was mm -hmm. calling out racism of any form and kind so now another thing I want to talk about is um, shout out to Tara Banks for actually stepping up and supporting Gabriel because for Gabriel Union, another black person that was on America's Got Talent Territory. that I expected to actually be like, okay, um, maybe I do not experience this, but I'm going to um, support Gabriel Union on this. Terry? Terry Crews. <laughs> and it was so disappointing okay, because when so Terry Crews, when Terry Crews had a sexual as, um, assault case, Gabriel, Gabriel Union was yeah. one of the people who spoke up and said she supported him. Black men were, were, were really, really looking down on Terry Crews. In fact, he even said it in an interview himself that when he had that situation, the people that really supported in during this time were black women. Now it is time for you to give a, your support. You and this black <clears> woman <throat> are on the same show together. Render your support to this woman. That's when you're the not saying thing. the only person you can please is okay. your wife. That's not what we're talking about. Nobody's saying you should please Gabriel Union. We're saying that this is a fight against racism. Somebody is calling out racism in the workplace. You are being that black guy that wants to be the white people's friend. Well, I um, before I weigh in on your take on the whole Terrico situation, I'd just like to get Benny's take on this. So. Um, I, I didn't expect anything less from Gabriel and um, Naomi. Mm. I'm sorry, Tyra Banks. I didn't expect anything less. But I think I, I, I won't go away from that. I'm on yes, racism. It's 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 palpable. It's there's just a whole lot of denial, and we have the, the whitewash project going on where a lot of black people claim to be mm. black, but we all know what. They are undertones who really mm. they are working for, mm. you know, and that's why I'm not surprised about um, Cruz Cruz's um, comment. I mean, it comes up really whitish, <laughs> you know, to me if I should use any word like that. But I want to bring it home. You know, it's also um, a situation where we have happening even home here. I mean, it's it's yeah. not. It, it could be tribal. It could be based on tribal sentiments. You know, he's from my tribe, so I'm going to give him that job, or he's not from my tribe, I can't give him that job. Mm -hmm. And then recently, there's been a call out on media media houses that have yeah. been treating staff pretty bad. Mm -hmm. There's a whole lot of unwholesome activity that happens in the workplace. Mm -hmm. You know, and, but unfortunately, because. Whoever pays the piper dictates the tune. Mm -hmm. And most yeah. of these guys, they have nothing to hold on to. They have nothing to fall back to. Mm. So they, 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 they stay in those unwholesome environments, those hostile work environments, those very volatile and very toxic workplaces. Because mm. I, I, need, I need my check pay at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And I think people should just learn to speak up. It's not just even the issue of racism. You know, very toxic workplaces, yeah. um, horrible bosses, yeah. you know, people who treat people anyhow. In, in many workplaces, there's, there's a whole lot of emotional and verbal abuse that goes yes. on between bosses, I mean, and subordinates, subordinates. Even and, between colleagues. You yeah. know, and so we got to learn to speak up at every point in time, you know. And for Grabiel, I didn't expect anything less from her. Yeah. And that should let people like to see the fact that, you know what, don't, the colors, colors exist and we can't play blind to it. Mm -hmm. All right, you know? so um, I think this is time to talk about my reservation on the Terry thing because um, at the end of the day, this is somebody who has been the host for a while, Terry has been the host, in as much as we expect him, or we expected him to show support to black women and all of that. Like he said, a lot of people are thinking about their paycheck. Now, what's the thing you're going to do afterwards? Do you understand? Terry has a lot of kids, if you want to think about oh, it. So that's he the reason why he's going he to be a sellout. No, 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 no. You, I'm not saying that it should be a sellout. Mm. Now, what he said was, um, was wrong, absolutely wrong. But... If he had said, I'm not going to comment about this, we will still come against this man. Terry Cruz was just being politically correct. So yeah, it was just an offense on So, he so, he just talk. Yeah, so I, 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 I don't have a problem job. with that. Yeah, he wants you know, to keep his job. But to say what, what Gabriel talk, talked about and was just was gas he, 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 he said he didn't her. experience you know? it and that he and it has been the most diverse show. Yeah, diverse show. Not somebody experiencing will... it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Exactly. That it didn't happen to you doesn't mean doesn't someone mean... else is not it, going that, through that, that, it. And I'm disappointed the same time, in Terry. Say... Very, very I'm disappointed. I'm pretty disappointed in Terry Crews. Because I'm disappointed because, because he could have just should know better. the fifth. He was trying to please his political connects. He needs a paycheck from hosting um, um, yeah, America, America Got Talent. Mm. You know, I mean, Tyra Bax also hosted, you know, the show before. You know, but why is it that now she's saying that, okay, she supports Gabriel? She also said that she did not experience that, that she cannot say that that was the experience because okay. she did not spend a very okay. long time with them. All right, all right. Yeah. So, Terry, I think you need to do better. And big shout-out to Gabriel for standing up for all the women out there and all, 
other races. And um, two um, now um, Tyra Banks yeah. was also shown support. Big shout out to her as well. But um, we'll be going on a break shortly. But before we go on this break, there is a tissue box that you need to see. And it's by the Stitch layer. And because in 2020, you cannot afford to be boring, spice up your space with beautiful accessories. Visit at the Stitch layer on Instagram to get yours today. Tea time. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling alright. Still make music and people are still buying. That's why they look myself minimal. Are you? music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early. Sleeping early. Welcome back to the most entertaining entertainment show, and this is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. So, back, um, Moving on, Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth officially single again. Divorce, divorce finalized. Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth are officially single after their divorce was finalized around five months after the original filing. According to legal documents obtained by TMZ, a Georgia signed the pair's divorce settlement, which was originally filed in December. And um, mm. like we said yesterday, if you can't handle a relationship, if it's not working out for you, the boss is an option these days. <laughs> it's not until you stay in a very unhappy marriage that's mm. when um, you think yeah, you're living your best life with you, you're trying mm. to satisfy the society. So if it's not working out, even if it's after two months, two days of the marriage, actually, I think it happened in a, really, in a marriage four days after and he wanted yeah, to speak. I think Nicholas Cage. Who was that? Who can remind me who that was? What's yeah. that? Somebody who broke up after four days of marriage, they said he was intoxicated during the marriage. Oh. It was a, 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 a Hollywood actor. Really? Mm -hmm. uh, I, don't I, remember well, I can't remember, man. Yeah, but... You know, you know the phraseology in Reconcilable Differences is, is pretty much ambiguous. Mm -hmm. Because the, 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 the issues, the specific issues, it just can be... What is, what is Irreconcilable Differences? Or mm. what regard to what's happening? Yeah, but I think... I think, that, I think but um, at the end of the day, yeah. it's their core, man. I mm -hmm. mean... Um, I don't think anybody should stay in a marriage if they're not happy about it and yeah. if there are issues going on, you feel, you know, mm -hmm. you can't handle it and you can't deal with that. It's, it's not got to do, oh. it's not a to, to, to die issue. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Because many people have stayed in there and they've lost their lives, especially mm -hmm. when there are issues of physical, domestic violence, oh. you know. Um, so for Ma Miley and Hemsworth, it's their life, it's their choice, their decision, and yeah, we cannot but just respect it. Whatever the irreconcilable differences was, I wish them well, and going forward, I hope they've learned lessons, because lessons got to be learned. So you don't mm. repeat the same thing if you ever decide to get married again in the next relationship. And Miley moved on pretty pretty fast, because pretty, she's, pretty she's with somebody fast. right now already. No, I, you know, I don't think And that part of that, so she's with somebody right now. And that part of the story that caught my attention and got me laughing was that uh, they both, uh, they're both happy, they're, they're good, and they want to be dedicated parents, parents to, to their, their pets. pets. <laughs> yeah, they call <laughs> own pets. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's better for them to, like, at least there are no kids involved in their wow. split. This is a redefinition of parenting. Yeah, yeah. Parenting no, there are a lot, like, no, come on, there are a lot of no, American you know, people who feel yeah, that way. Yeah, but you they, know, when they share pets, I'm the same they, oh left all the yes, posture you're, you're, you're catering to the pet. You're not parenting a pet. Oh. Let's define it. <laughs> for some of them, it's actually very deep. Okay, so for Liam and uh, Miley, I would say that for somebody who has followed their relationship from the last song, the movie that they were in oh, together. Wow, smile on your face. Yeah, just... like, uh, you know, I was like, I was really rooting for them. Mm. You know, when they got back together. Don't root for nobody. Baby. <laughs> when they got back together in 2018, I was like, yay, finally, you know, this couple that, you know, a lot of people have been, I won't say idolizing, but like a lot of people have really rooted for. And then a few months down the line, you know, everything just went like, they just separated and everything. Mm. But I, I, I hope that whatever it is that they've done, them taking this step, it is for their personal interests. 
and it will not be a case where anybody feels a longing for the other person because even their family members have been complaining that their relationship is becoming toxic because mm. they'll break up they'll come back together break up come back together and it's they were already together for a they were, they were together for a very years, long yeah. time and now i hope that this divorce is just going to be like the final one and just say okay let's just be friends because another thing that people said and be is that you know this ir um, irreconcilable differences is more or less like they had a clash of lifestyles yeah. um i think Liam wanted the family interest. yeah conflict yeah. you know of interest yeah. Liam wanted maybe like a family woman and everybody knows that my Cyrus has said she's a girl who cannot be tamed so <laughs> I think that was where they had like clashes and everything because she actually addressed it in a song she released them slide away after their first their breakup when they separated and all of that so they've come out to like give statements and hints on why they separated and all of that but basically I just wish them well and I hope that they just keep their separate ways separate and not come uh, Well, we can't be too sure about that. They may do the diverse thing, but it doesn't mean they will not be seen after hours. <laughs> That's I feel that. like they because somebody you've it. been with for like 11 years now including their marriage yeah. that's that's a serious it's relationship do you understand off, like off, yeah so i feel they'll still have their time on time off here and there I but the marriage it's... thing isn't just working out yeah, not just... every relationship necessarily has has to end up in a marriage yeah, but they, they, that's you know the they, were, they were dating for a long time they didn't yeah that's plan why i just that's 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 what i mean by not every relationship mm. but everybody just believes that's the societal pressure we're also talking about about. Yeah, like people just put pressure on you oh you've been with this person for so many years it's only right you guys get married no it's not only right like sometimes it's just better being friends or friends with benefits <laughs> or friends with this and friends with that or you are dating or or you oh, yeah. oh, friends with benefits or your, your fbs yeah oh yeah yeah so it's it's, as, it's okay as, that is your partner it's okay arena, you guys yeah. are not legally married but that is your partner it's it's an agree it's a contract i mean you can be it's friends okay, with benefits and you can be you can be FB. yeah it's it's, it's a contract it's some kind of contract also okay. i mean it's an agreement an agreement we're not talking about that like that if, you not, drama. if you and i meet together and say you know well let's just be fwbs let's be friends with benefit that's an agreement right that's what a contract is okay. a contract is an but you know that when it comes to like parties. friends with benefits it's not really exclusive no, it's no, not exclusive, it but we have an understanding, we have an agreement, yes. yes. Oh. Now, it depends on the clauses we now put, the conditions we include, you know, in that agreement. That, okay, are we allowed also to mess around with other people while we're mm. friends with benefits? You know, like that. Can we move on to Eriga? I think I'm going to All right. So, rapper Eriga told women to stop saying all men are goats after heartbreak. He said, if it hurts you, you didn't say, you don't say all men as goats. Say, ena no. Omu, living close to Winner's Chapel, <coughs> is a goat. Don't involve my brothers, Biko. <laughs> hey, Riga, Riga got me there, I got to say. You know, I'm, I'm tired of that hasty rule of generalization. You know, one, Man, guy, one guy messed you up, and then you tag all guys along with it. I'm sorry. And this, this is not basic even based on just relationship. We all we all go through or deal with everything in the hands of people. Yeah. I'm sorry, some people are just naturally idiots you need to come across in life. Yeah. And they both they exist in both sexes, both male and female. Mm -hmm. And so just because I had a bad experience with a female, either by way of an association, business, or relationship, next. doesn't necessarily make every <laughs> other woman like her. I just had one bad experience with one woman. And so I won't use her to not generalize and say, all women are slots. But let me All support right. let me support women a little bit on okay. that note because I think um we understand No, there's that. no I won't support them because it seems like it's a war men and women are at war with with each other and it's not uh, supposed to be. Not. You know, it's, I just feel there's a segment of society that just wants to see that fight go on, you know. I mean, let I men are, nice men are this okay, men are that in. Yeah. Please okay. go. On. Yeah. So now, I, um, what Eriga said, I don't really agree because basically... Because people, all men are, are but goats. No, when people say men are scum... Because i got to include your father and your brothers too. <laughs> when people say men are scum yes. or men are goats... Men. That's a compound it does now. Not, Everybody... No. What we are talking it's about English, is not just relationship. It's not about a guy broke my heart. It's I, not. I it's it's so encompassing. Yeah. It's about okay. a system okay. that encourages the um, the um, uh, making women second class citizens. Mm. It's not about oh this man broke my heart. That is why mm. men are scum. But it's about it's, it's a system that encourages mm. men to trample over women. And that is we see several men. Okay, you go to a man and say, okay, this is what happened. Men tells you that, but that is how life is. Now, hold so on, that's why we see men are scum. Like I always because ask all my female friends. Is your dad scum? Which man? No, 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 no. Which man has trampled on your rights and said, so, you know, you can't be, you can't achieve, you can't be anything you want to be? It's not necessary. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Personal now. 
which man in your life, which man have you experienced that have come to tell you, you know, Nimi, you can aspire to be anything. How many women? On... Let's start from Nigeria. You know, the answer How many my women question, are man, babe, You know, answer my question. It doesn't have to be something that happens to you directly. I understand the system. It can it's, be a listen, system that works listen, against you. Don't get, me, don't get me wrong. I'm all for women because I feel the society we live in, the patriarchal system, the way it's set up, it's adverse to the woman. Typically, stereotypically, unfortunately. And that is why we say and, males as yeah. come. No, that's the point. You can't say men are. Now, there are men in your men life who, who have given you wings to fly. Who have told you, you know what, you just don't, don't set it. You can be all you men. can. That's but it. then there are now some so, other men that make our life but extremely you difficult. All, you but you include all those men in it. personalized it. Has there been any man in your life? Yes. Anything of sort. Have I experienced? Yeah. Yeah. There have been, do you? I, I don't want to talk about it because it's actually personal, but there no. have been several instances okay, where, where, where my right, my right on has been trampled on by a man. Yeah, when, man you are is, sitting, when you are sitting down in a bus, yeah. when you are sitting down in a bus and then a man feels like he has the right to your body, mm? when you are walking in the Yaba market and a man feels like he has the right to touch you, that is him tra trampling on my rights. No, the, what, what they call those people? There's someone we call them. There's a name for them. But you see, see people sitting. You, you see people yes, sitting and down and them. allowing these things happen. You see people allowing these things happen. You see people not doing anything. You see people not speaking up. That is why we say men no, are scum. No, we see women no. not speaking up. Not just women. In this part of the world, mm. women have I mean, been silent. I don't think I mean, any man would. I don't think I'll be in that same so boss so with you. And I'll say that man do that to you. And I won't speak up. I so, think, you know, I think the problem changed. is, I think Nimi, times yeah. men do you actually need? Times meet? have Agreed. changed. Nimi, I'm not going to trivialize your experiences because they're your experiences and they're valid. Not Nobody, just my No, not, I'm just saying, just every woman out there who has, who has felt trampled. There are trampled, several women who have felt trauma yeah, like it. that. Any, any woman out there who has felt trampled under by a man, maybe by virtue of a business association, a relationship, a marriage, I want to say, you know what, not all men are that way. Okay, and it's Have you met it's good a society. Guys? It's I, our I society. Know several good it's men. the way it's exactly. built. But if the shoe does you know, not fit, move on. You know, so at the end of the day, I think we, we have we have a patriarchal system. We all need to deconstruct and redefine. Yeah. About that, you're, you're not. You're, it doesn't make you a man if you feel every time you need to talk to a woman, you want to make her feel inferior to you. It doesn't make you any any more of a man. Matter of fact, you're a man who has an identity problem. You're dealing with a whole lot of insecurity and the same problem as a man. Because I feel at the end of the day, yes, we're all the same. We're not equal by virtue of purpose, by virtue of design. You know, there's certain things women can do a man can never do, and there's certain things men can do a woman mm. can never do. And so it's complimentary. And right. so if a woman, if a man constantly feels the need to always put a woman under to feel validated of his masculinity, that man needs to check in in the psychiatry. Exactly. So yes, yes, y'all, this is where we wrap <laughs> up. And um, so every woman who has felt um, trampled upon, their rights trampled upon by any we man, apologize. know sorry. that um, we, the crew of Tea Time, we stand with you solidly. We apologize, we apologize to you, Nini. Please, every please. woman <laughs> who has felt that way. But it's time for us to take a bow on, today's, on this episode of Tea Time. And we would say, have a great day. And remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing Subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Alta TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always goes to my co-anchors um, Benny and Nimi for their amazing contributions on the entire production team. I am a fellow Welsh and saying thank you for watching and see you in a bit.